Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of my future videos. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a package that I was sent from Double Dip. So let's start off with this one right here. In this little bag, we just have some nail files. These are replacement hand files. In the next bag, we have something exciting. Here is their unicorn fluffy nail brush. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> this brush is so, so soft and it's beautiful. Inside this little bag we have here is some buffing blocks. These are great to file over your nails to prep them, along with smoothing over your nail after application. We have some more small hand files, two larger hand files. In this kit, they also give you some orange wood sticks, which are great for pushing back your cuticles. And the bag is super cute. So next, we're going to unbox the exciting one. <laughs> so here is the dip bond. This is number one. This is a nail dehydrator which just prepares your nail and allows your manicures to last a lot longer. Here is their drill bit set. I was super excited to get this one. This is a rainbow drill bit set. Inside this set, it comes with the small typhoon medium bit. Next, we have the large smooth top medium bit. The large barrel medium bit. The typhoon medium bit. This one is the small typhoon medium bit. And last but not least, we have the large barrel coarse bit. These drill bits are great to have, especially if you do your nails very often. And this is the most exciting box of this entire package. This is their portable nail drill. This is a 35,000 RPM nail drill. So let's get right into it. So I'm taking some scissors just to gently cut off the plastic that is covering this box. Apparently, I did not realize that this box was a sliding box. <laughs> so I was like trying to pull the box open and then I realized that it's one of those boxes that just slides off of the other box. <laughs> Anyway, after you open the box, the first thing you're going to see is the instructions. So this just tells you everything you need to know about your portable nail drill. Feel free to pause the video if you would like to read these instructions. Underneath the instructions is your portable nail drill. So this is covered in plastic to protect the screen along with the body of the nail drill. This nail drill is a gorgeous gradient from pink to blue. I really love the design of this nail drill. It's very beautiful and elegant. This is one of those items where if you touch it, you're gonna get fingerprints on it. <laughs> so underneath the rest of the packaging, you're gonna see two more white boxes. Inside the bigger white box, you're going to find the silicone type material stand. This is for your handpiece. The material is great so it doesn't slide along your desk as you're working. You also get the wall adapter to charge your portable nail drill. This little clear attachment to hold your handpiece onto the nail drill. And of course, the standard gentle drill bits to file your nails with. Inside this smaller white box, you're gonna find your hand piece. This is the most expensive piece of your nail drill, so you want to be very, very cautious when handling it. As you guys can see, this matches the nail drill, so that is very, very cute. It does come with the little retainer drill bit. So here's an up close of the handpiece. 
It is a three prong plug in. It does have these stretchy centers, so it allows you to move away from the nail drill. If you would like to take your handpiece apart, let's say if you're having technical issues, you can just unscrew the handpiece like this, and that is how you take your handpiece apart. The very first time I ever had a nail drill, I took it apart, and I had to Google how to put my handpiece back together. <laughs> that wasn't with this nail drill though, that was with my previous one. In the center, you do have the lock and unlock switch. This is for the drill bit. So you turn it to the left and then you're able to release the drill bit. Turn it to the right to be able to lock it into place. Something I want to quickly mention is the dust protectors. Dust protectors are these little colorful rings that go onto your drill bits. These are very, very important because they protect dust from going into your handpiece. When dust enters your handpiece, it can break it, which again is very expensive to fix. So here's a close up of the nail drill. On the left you have two buttons, the forward and reverse switch along with a pause and resume mode button. On the top you have the easy to turn dial, this turns it on and off along with the speed of the nail drill. You have the plug-in for your handpiece. Then on the right hand side of your nail drill you have the area for your little attachment. This just allows you to hold the handpiece onto the nail drill. This is great to use if you have your nail drill standing up or hooked onto any of your clothing. On the back, you have this little clip. This allows you to hook it to your clothing. And on the bottom, you have the warning sticker along with the plug-in for the wall adapter. This is how you charge your portable nail drill. You do want to make sure it's fully charged before your first use. My portable nail drill was fully charged when I received it, which was a very nice bonus. To turn your nail drill on, gently turn the knob clockwise until you feel it click. You're then able to choose the rotation of your motor. The forwards rotation is for right-handed people, and the reverse rotation is for left-handed people. I just recently found this out. <laughs> And the other switch I'll show you in one second. It's a really nice feature. Let's say you're filing and you need to stop just for a quick second. You can push the little pause button on the left hand side of your nail drill and it will pause the rotation of the handpiece. Then when you're ready to file again, you can just easily click the same button. If you guys are interested in purchasing this e-file or any product shown in this video, I will link everything down in the description along with my discount code to save you guys some money. This e-file is a very good investment, especially if you're impatient with filing your nails, like me. <laughs> Let's move on to the tutorial. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use your portable e-file. Here I have my practice hand. Say hello. <laughs> I'm going to first show you how to prep your natural nails using an e-file. So I'm going to take the mandrel bit. This comes with your e-file. And I'm going to place a arbor band around the mandrel bit. This one is a medium grit arbor band. I am making sure the drill bit is placed all the way down. That is why I'm not using a dust protector on this drill bit. So I have already placed some nail tips on my practice hand. I've already done one of them. These clear ones are supposed to represent your natural nail. And I also have a nail prepped with dip powder. So I'm going to show you how you can smooth over the dip powder nails after application. So for natural nail prep with an e-file, you do not want to use a speed higher than 3 or 4,000 RPMs. This can cause a lot of damage to your nails if you use it at a higher speed. Of course, I am using the forward rotation because I am right-handed. You want to make sure you have a very good grip on your handpiece. This is a medium-sized handpiece, so it's not too big to grip. You can hold this however you feel comfortable. 
but I would definitely recommend to leave your pinky free. So with the other hand, you're going to firmly grip the finger. You want to find whatever feels comfortable for you, but this is how I like to hold it. With your free pinky, you're going to stabilize the hand, the one that is holding the e-file. You can place your pinky on the client's hand or your own hand. And then I am starting from the right side of the nail and gently pushing the e-file to the left. Once I get to the other side wall, I'm going to lift up the e-file. I'm going to repeat the same process until the entire shine is filed off of the nail. You want to make sure that the drill bit is parallel with your nail. You do not want to angle your drill bit into the nail. This can cause a lot of damage and of course, heat spikes. Speaking of heat spikes, you want to make sure that you're not applying too much pressure when filing the nails. You also do not want to stay in one place of the nail for too long. You can also adjust your hands to get a closer file around the sidewalls and cuticle area. You want to get as close as you can without harming your skin. This drill bit is pretty smooth so if you do bump your skin, it's not going to cut you. Once the shine is completely removed from your nail, I'm then going to take my super cute unicorn fluffy nail brush and dust away all of the excess dust. Then I'm going to take number one which is dip bond and I'm going to apply this to the natural nail. This is going to dehydrate the nail and prep it for my manicure. This step also makes your nails last a little bit longer. This is the large barrel medium grit e-file bit. To file a nail enhancement such as dip powder, acrylic, gel, or poly gel, you want to use a little bit rougher of a drill bit. You can use the rough grit arbor band, or I like to use a different drill bit altogether. For filing nail enhancements, I like to use about 9,000 RPMs. 9 or 10,000 RPMs is usually what I like to use when I file over a product. Same thing, you want to make sure you have a very good grip on your e-file along with the client's hand. I'm going to start around the sidewall and cuticle area. You want to be very, very gentle not to get the drill bit onto the skin. Unless you're using a smooth top drill bit, you can cut the skin if you're not too careful. I do have the drill bit at a little bit of an angle just to make sure that I have a very good cuticle line. If you do this, you want to be very, very gentle and do not harm the natural nail. After the sidewall and cuticle areas are all filed, I'm then going to turn the practice hand and I'm going to use the e-file vertically down the nail. You don't want to go back and forth when filing. I'm sure this is probably not too good for your e-file. So in my opinion, I would recommend to do a one-stroke filing method. So starting at the base of the nail, I'm going to do a one-stroke method going down to the tip of the nail, lift up my e-file, and then repeat the same process over and over. If you see any spots that need more filing, you can gently go back over those areas. You can also use these drill bits to reshape your nail, but you want to be very cautious when doing this step. After the entire nail is filed, I then like to go over the tip of the nail just to ensure that I do not have a thick nail tip. After the nail is finished, I'm going to take the fluffy nail brush and dust away all of the excess dust. And then I'm going to take the Bella Vena No Wipe Gel Top Coat and I'm going to apply a thin layer to the entire nail. I always like to finish my manicures with a gel top coat if I'm able because gel top coats leave a very smooth surface and a beautiful shine. As you guys know, this is my favorite gel top coat. I highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for a new one. It does have a thicker consistency. I am a thick consistency gel top coat type of girl. 
so if you like runnier gel top coats, this one may not be for you. I'm then going to do a full cure under the UV LED lamp. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and e-file tutorial. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you think of this e-file and this method of filing your nails. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!